Now welcome back everybody to the channel and today we are back on the Google Earth land and guess where we're gonna go today yeah <clears throat> let me just actually zoom right in yep we're in the South Atlantic again and we're going very remote and we've already got something showing up an island this island especially Tristan da, Trist, Tristan da Kun Tristan da Kunha how do you pronounce that Tristan da Cunha okay Tristan da you know, I wasn't even that wrong. Yeah, <clears throat> Tristan da Cunha Island indeed. Oh, no, no. No, yeah, this is a very interesting island, especially because of one factor. It is the most remote island on this planet that has actual people living on it. In this town of Edinburgh of the Seven Seas, it has a bar. Welcome to Albatross Bar. It has an own hospital as well. It's got an own school, even. A church. Actually, two church. Great. And a harbor. But what it doesn't have is actually an airport, which is something I find really, really interesting. Yeah, I mean, here on Wikipedia, we can really see the remoteness of this island, indeed. It's 2,700 kilometers away from Cape Town, South Africa, 2,400 kilometers away from St. Helena, which is uh, another very, very remote island here in the South Atlantic Ocean, which does actually have an airport. We've talked about that one. And it's even 4,000 kilometers away from the Falklands Islands, which, you know, are near Argentina. So, you know, this is why I think this is so interesting. I mean, this is a proper island with proper people living on it. Population is 260. Wow. And uh, let me just say they're not growing. In 2016, they were 290. Probably not a very popular island, but honestly, I would really like to go there. But honestly, I'm not really ready to take a ship. So everybody, for today's video, look, there's even a pool. Let's go there. Yep, for today's video, I decided to build an airport on this island. Not in real life, but in the flight simulator. Yes, of course, here in the flight simulator 2020, this island is, of course, also modeled. You know, with a little village down here and some of those roads. And of course, the volcanoes also here, right? But what is of course not here is an airstrip or something like that. That is what we're exactly gonna do today. Let's build an airport here in the scenery builder here in this developer mode. I've not done this here on the channel, so now it's time. Let's build an airport. Now, of course, before we just plant a runway on this island, we have to decide where to build it. This is now the 3D view of this island, as you can see. It's a very classic volcanic island, right? You know, we have this town down here with some flat area here. For example, we can build an airport here you know we can actually see a few farms here the villagers of this island can actually plan some stuff villagers sounds a little bit degrading i'm sorry inhabitants but you know what let's make the placing of this airport a little bit interesting yeah you know what i think here we should build a runway let's do this okay all right let's combine this with a little bit of a quick tutorial let's just go ahead and open a new project right here Blah, blah, blah. Here it is. We're, of course, going to name it Tristan da Cunha. And here we can now select to create an airport. Here we go. Now, airport creation. Let's go ahead and create an own airport. For that one, we, of course, need a custom ICAO code. You know what? There's one code that is not assigned yet. Let's try that one. And, well, yes, for today's video, I'm going to finally use the opportunity to create my own airport. Swiss is your one airport. <laughs> and now we have to give the coordinates of the airport. We can simply read that here from Google earth there we go this is now let's create an airport let's do this all right we've now officially created this wizard in one airport it's now time to build it for this one i'm gonna pull up the scenery editor right here let's go ahead and search for runways and let's just go ahead and place a simple runway oh yeah here we go let's just go ahead and place it right here there we go all right we've got a runway on the ground and now it's time to customize a little bit. Let's make it, first of all, of course, a little bit longer. Let's use this whole grass area we have here. Let's change the heading by a little bit. Here we go. Perfect. Yes. And we can make this nice and long. Pretty good. Here we go. I think that's going to be nice enough here, especially right next to the town, which might be a little bit dangerous. Let's go ahead and quickly add some markings to this one now. Here we go. Edge markings. Nice. Let's also add some nice lights here. Good. Let's also add some poppy lights. Good. And that's all we need to do. We've just added a runway to a random island. How about that? Let's just go ahead and save this here. Nice. And let's just restart the flight simulator. And well, here we go. After a bit of a restart, we have our beautiful brand new airport here. Swiss 001 Airport indeed. With a 2,300 feet long asphalt runway. Time to come in for a landing. You know, this is a weird thought because, you know, this video within seconds will have more views than inhabitants of the island. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and land anyway. Here we go. Coming in here with this Embraer Bandeirante. Beautiful. And I haven't assigned a number to this runway, so it just says N. Creative. Very uh, much work put into this scenery 
D. Let's come in and land. Come on. Yes. Here we go. Nice landing. And oh no, there's lights on the run. Oh, I've done this a little bit wrong. The building of the surf. But it doesn't matter. Here we go. We have landed nicely. What else do you want? Yes. It's now time for some actual airliner service and see if this is actually going to work. We need to be able to fly here with a plane that can fly at least 3,000 kilometers or maybe even 5,000 kilometers. That has a long range. Which, uh, isn't the case here with this Bande Rante. Yeah, we're gonna at least wanna have something like this. The A320. Let's see if this is gonna work. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, welcome back and birth the A320. This plane could actually make it here from, say, Cape Town. So let's do this. By the way, I wanted to check out one more thing. Of course we have live weather in the flight simulator. What's the weather like here in this region? Not particularly good. Yeah, see, this is another factor of building a runway that I didn't actually even recognize. What are the winds like here on this island? I hope we have some sort of t Okay. All right, this is very bad winds. 21, almost all crosswind. We should have probably tried building the airport in another direction, but that's another story. We are nicely on an approach to, uh, the airport. Now, in honor of this island, let's go ahead and get this landing done smoothly. Oh, oh goodness, this is very bad winds. Okay, come on, stop. This is now the point. Oh no, we are very, um. Trouble is actually, after all, this is a 2,000 foot long runway below a thousand meters. So that hasn't particularly worked, has it? Maybe we shall try with better weather, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I might have underestimated how short this runway actually really is after all. I should have probably picked another location, but that's another story. This is only making it a little bit more spicy. Let's try this again. I think this might just work now. With a little bit of less winds, here we go. All right, that's been a landing. Let's go ahead and quickly stop. That shouldn't be that much of an issue. Full power. Yes. Nicely stopping the A320. Let's go. Full power into the brakes. Uh-oh. Please. Oh, uh, so close. Oh, no, we didn't. Whatever. I think this worked. I mean, we could expand the runway by like a few meters, and this would be a totally safe airport. So, yeah, that could be a possible way of getting to this interesting Tristan Island. I mean, after all, a ship trip here. Ships, of course, come here. I mean, of course. Takes around 10 days from South Africa, which is a lot. But a plane trip would only take a few hours. Maybe like six hours or something like that. Yeah. Well, makes sense. So maybe this airport idea wouldn't be the worst thing after all, even though it would be incredibly expensive considering that there are only 200 people living here or something. But for tourism, it could be nice. So yeah, guys, that is Tristan. I, I forgot the name again. The most remote island that actually is lived on by humans. And well, what can I say? We built our special airport here. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, Producers are One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy. Stall, 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 stall.